during our preparations to ESMO Congress uh, within our patient advocates working group, we always think about what's new in our field and what medical part will probably not cover. So we try to bring topics uh, that are interesting for our community, but also for healthcare professionals and for researchers and for policymakers, but that we are definitely sure that other tracks or other topics will not cover. That's why we, we work between uh, our organizations and try to address topics like psychosocial support, also caregivers, digital solutions, new technologies, or maybe coping with side effects, putting patient perspective into the clinical trials and why this is important. Well, digitalization is definitely something we cannot avoid and we will not be able to avoid. So we, we try to think about it as our partner, as our helper in this, and not something that comes between doctor and patient, because during these past years, we saw that patients still want this personal human touch. So digital tools should be our partners in this, helping maybe to go through the patient cancer journey or to maybe help us with, with other solutions like follow the side effects or going through the clinical trials. Well, more and more digital solutions are available now, mostly in some kind of applications, apps for smartphones or some small digital devices that, that can help patients, uh, let's say, to remind them when to take the, the medicine and so on. But maybe there are already too many. And how to filter and how to find the right one, even for healthcare professionals, not just for patients, it's really a challenge. So b bringing our experiences together and not maybe reinvent the apps all the time, it's better to pick a solution that one of the, let's say, either organizations or uh, healthcare professional communities already develop and just adopt to our specific cases. Well, in hospitals, we really see already a lot of big digital solutions that are available. And it was really interesting during our session when the nurse presented their, their own solution that actually she said that that helps them. And this is actually what we are looking, looking for. So help communicate between, help in the communication between the nurse and the patient and how this can be improved. This is really a positive experience and that, that's the experience and the solution we would like to see more. But we know that already in the hospitals, the workflows, the uh, entry and exit points and prams and proms are already measured with, in a combination with, with technical, with digital solutions. But this is something that definitely will need to improve and come to more hospitals and actually not just to collect all of this, but to see end outcomes and improvements after this, this collection of all of this data. Well, probably with, with some of the adoptions, we always have to think about the whole uh, population. And as we also saw in one of the talks, some, some patients that were involved in the research or in the the testing of the digital solution were over 80 years of age, which is probably coming more and more common. And most of the people already have smartphones. And if they use smartphones, they will be able to use other tools. And even though the population in cancer is a little bit older, I don't think that this digital tool can be such an obstacle nowadays because they are really becoming more and more user friendly. And that's why it is important to include also our perspective and our patients, our representatives in the uh, design of these tools, not just as the end users, but from the very beginning. <laughs>